Hello everyone, I've been tagged by Kyra um, to do three poems and uh, I just had the flu for at least a week. Really bad case of the flu so um, this is really shaking me out of my torpor. Um, yeah, and this is the first time I've ever been tagged before so it's something different and um, first time I will have read poetry on um, YouTube. Uh, so um, before I start I'll just mention that I have decided to tag um, we've got to tag five people so I've uh, chosen Bill Flowers in Australia and also in Australia Glennis Pagayan uh, and Alex Chudnovsky and in England Kev the Witch and in Sweden Mrs. Fiendish Bat. Uh, I hope you're feeling better now. Anyway, um, Mrs. Fiendish Bat, she wasn't so well but I haven't seen a video from her lately, so I hope this will prod her to make one. Uh, so it's very difficult to choose just three poems because um, there's just so many uh, different ones and uh, I didn't know whether to choose a funny one or a serious one or a beautiful one or... <laughs> um, anyway, in the end I have decided um, on these three. So uh, the first one isn't so much, well some people say it's not even a poem, it was actually a, a note. It's by William Carlos Williams and um, it's called This Is Just To Say. But I, I do really think, I mean I it's thing is what you think it is, and it's obviously a poem to me anyway. But I think it's very beautiful. This is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. And... The next one is, I'll, be, I'll do this one next, it's by John Macefield and it's called On East Nor Knoll and truly it was one of the first poems I really started to like poetry with. I used to hate poetry when I was young, it was just something to do at school and um, I associated it with school, but um, it's so descriptive, and to me it was so beautiful. So this is the first poem I think I really ever appreciated. Silent are the woods, and the dim green boughs are hushed in the twilight. Yonder in the path through the apple orchard is a tired ploughboy calling the cows home. A bright white star blinks. The pale moon rounds, but still the red lurid wreckage of the sunset smoulders in the smoky fire and burns on the misty hilltops. Ghostly it grows and darker, the burning fades into smoke, and now the gusty oaks are a silent army of phantoms thronging a land of shadows. And for my last one, it's one that I, I got this beautiful book called <clears throat> Library of World Poetry and it's been put together by William Cullen Bryant um, who is also himself a poet so he's got a lot of his own in here too but it's, it's huge, it's like a big enormous bible, it's that size and the writing is very small so I'm going to I'll need a microscope so I'll 
I have to take my glasses off to, to read this one. Um, I, naturally, I haven't been reading all the... <laughs> I wouldn't know all the poems in this book. I know some of them, but um, it was fun looking through and finding what there was. And I found this one. It's called <clears throat> Signs of Rain. 40 reasons for not accepting an invitation of a friend to make an excursion with him. So ladies, if you uh, get an invitation from someone that you don't really feel like going out with, you could say this. The hollow winds begin to blow. The clouds look black. The glass is low. The suit falls down. The spaniels sleep and spiders from their cobwebs peep. Last night the sun went pale to bed. The moon in halos hid her head. The boding shepherd heaves a sigh, for see a rainbow spans the sky. The walls are damp, the, kit, the ditches smell. Closed is the pink-eyed pimpernel. Hark how the chairs and tables crack. Old Betty's nerves are on the rack. Loud quacks the duck, the peacocks cry, the distant hills are seeming nigh. How restless are the snorting swine, the busy flies disturb the kine. Low o'er the grass the swallow wings, the crickets too, how sharp he sings. Puss on the hearth with velvet paws sits wiping o'er her whiskered jaws. Through the clear streams the fishes rise and nimbly catch the incautious flies. The glowworms, numerous and light, illumined the dewy dell last night. At dusk the squalid toad was seen hopping and crawling o'er the green. The swirling dust the wind obeys and in the rapid eddy plays. The frog has changed his yellow vest and in a russet coat is dressed. Though June, the air is cold and still. The mellow blackbird's voice is shrill. My dog, so altered in his taste, quits mutton bones on grass to feast. And see yon rooks, how odd their flight. They imitate the gliding kite and seem precipitate to fall as if they felt the piercing ball. Twill surely rain, I see with sorrow, our jaunt must be put off tomorrow. Well, there's a lot of superstitious nonsense for you. And um, I think that wraps it up. So uh, I've done my duty and now it's your turn. <laughs>